Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. On this episode of Travels with Phil, we're going to Utah and Canyonlands National Park, and specifically, we're going to the Upheaval Dome area. I live in San Diego, so let's travel across the American Southwest, all the way across Arizona, up into central Utah, and there you can see it from space, looking almost like a bullseye. Upheaval Dome, a very unusual geological feature. So let's zoom in a little bit, take a look at it from a different angle. All right, very nice. All right, the upthrust area in the center is about 3,500 feet across. The first ring from side to side is about three and a half miles. Second ring, about six and a half miles across. And the central peak rises about 750 feet up from the floor. And from the bottom of the floor up to the first ring is about 1,000 feet. The trail around the outside is about 8.3 miles. So let's take a look inside. Travels with Phil continues in Canyonlands National Park. This section is called Island in the Sky, and it's absolutely unique. Pardon me, extra superlative. It's Upheaval Dome. Sorry, the wind's blowing here, so I'm uh, having to uh, re record this. Pretty much a circular dome area here, an upthrust in the middle. Scientists are really confused as to what caused it. Well, it's a controversy. Meteors, salt dome, magmatic, upthrust, impact. It's hard to tell. They're looking for evidence. Meteor impact seems to be the most acceptable one. The entire trip all the way around the outside is a little over eight miles. That gives you an idea how big it really is. It's much larger than it seems. Hi there. And this is just part of Canyonlands National Park. There's other spots out here. Dead Horse State Park is another one. There's what you call the second overlook. You can see people out there standing up there looking at it from there. It's a different angle of the central up th thrust area. And overall, it's a place I've always wanted to go. I love geology. It's called Island in the Sky because this is a big mesa, and it's almost like being on an island. Travels of Phil continues from Upheaval Dome. This is a slightly different view, a little bit further west, and we're between Outlook number one and two. But it's pretty high up here. Again, seems higher than it is, or it doesn't seem as high as it is. And even up here, the tenacity for life is amazing. This little tree right here, it's maybe four foot tall, growing out of the rocks. I don't know if it's juniper or pinion. Then over here, on the opposite side, or just a little bit further down, uh, that's the official second overlook. Well, actually, that's, that's part of it, because you can see Look over there, just, just right there above my finger. There's some folks still walking along there. Somebody in orange, or I mean somebody in reddish and somebody in blue walking along. So that may mean the other overview or the official one is somewhere over there. As you can see, there's rock kerns or cairns along here. Folks out there stacking rocks. You actually see where they've cut out some steps right there in the side of the rock so you can climb up a little bit more easily to help you go on. I think I'll go back and look and see what that's like down there on the other side. Travels with Phil continues from Upheaval Dome, Highland in the Sky, Canyon, yeah, can, Canyonlands, sorry, got some candy in my mouth here, Canyonlands National Park. Travels with Phil continues again. This is the official second overlook at Upheaval Dome. And the first overlook is uh, off there in the distance. You see it over there, somewhere over there. That general area. And this is about a half mile further on from where I was before. You can't see them right now, but you are come over that hill there, and then you go zigzagging through the path up there. Come back down the ridge to get to here. But this is just uh, so unique. 
It's a little hard to see, but if you look over there toward the left of just center, down there where the red arrow is, just to the left of the peak, and I'm going to try to hold this still, just to the left of the peak, you can see a little bit of a zigzag trail down there. That's the zigzags going down. Cut switchbacks. And that's part of the hiking trail to get down there. That shows you how deep it is. Now, it's not Grand Canyon deep, but it is pretty deep. It's much deeper than it looks. I don't have the numbers with me, but I'll try to look it up. There's a few spots like this in the world, but not many. All right, there you go. That's looking down. Again, much deeper than it looks. All righty, folks. This is someplace I've always wanted to go. It's on my bucket list. Now you've seen it up close and personal. As with Phil continues up the trail, coming back from second uh, overlook over there. In fact, it's hard to do this. Right over there. This is the trail going up. And listen to this rock. Not much sound. Listen to this rock. Hollow. That one's hollow sound. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.